<clears throat> Look at, again, Philippians chapter 1, verse 15. Some indeed preach Christ even of envy and strife, and some also of goodwill. The one preach Christ of contention, not sincerely, supposing to add affliction to my bonds, <clears throat> but the other of love, knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel. What then? Notwithstanding every way, whether in pretense or in truth, Christ is preached. And I therein do rejoice, yea, and will rejoice. For I know, now he's writing this from prison. For I know that this, me being in prison and things going through, shall turn to my salvation through your prayer. You hear that? Through your prayer. In other words, all this stuff going on, he's saying, through your prayers, this is going to turn to my salvation. Watch. And the supply of the Spirit of Jesus Christ. You praying and the supply of the Spirit is going to turn this thing around. He says, according to my earnest expectation and my hope, that in nothing I shall be ashamed, but with all boldness, as always, so now also Christ shall be magnified in my body, whether it be by life or by death. Well, that doesn't sound like a faith man. That, notice he said, whether by life or by death. He says, for to me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. He lived so close to heaven, he wanted to step across. Now think about that. Now watch what he says. But if I live in the flesh, this is the fruit of my labor. Yet what, shall I, what I shall choose... I know not what I shall choose. Here's a man in prison awaiting execution. And he says, I'm, I don't know. I'd rather die. I'd rather go on. But then he says, for I am in a strait betwixt two, having a desire to depart. Notice he even called it departing. And to be with Christ, which is far better. Nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. Now watch, so he's, and having this confidence, I know that I shall abide and continue with you all for your furtherance and joy of faith. He said, I'd really rather go, but it's better for you if I stay, so I'm going to stay. He was deciding if he was going to die or not. He was deciding if he was going to get executed. Beloved, that's dominion. That's walking the way Jesus walked. They wanted to throw him off of a cliff. He walks out there with him right to the edge and then turns around and walks through the midst. Now, everybody knows if you don't want to get thrown off a cliff, you don't walk with them to the edge. I mean, because anybody can, you know, just give you a little shove and you're gone. But Jesus was in control. He was in dominion. He was living this life. And he said, I'm not going that way. I'm not ready yet. It ain't time yet. And that's not the way my death is prophesied. So he said, I think I'll just wait. And he walked past, walked right through their midst. So 1 John 4, 17, we read this while ago or mentioned it. Herein is our love made perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment because as he is, so are we in this world. Beloved, that's what I want to get to you today. You need, I, I, I want you to understand who you are in Christ. I want you to walk different, talk different, feel different, act different. If you're going, oh, my back, oh, oh, my feet, oh, oh, man, you know, my arm and my elbow, you're carnal. Let's just be blunt. You're carnal. You're, you're letting your body tell you what's going on. You say, well, what am I supposed to do? Just ignore it? No, deal with it. Elbow, line up in Jesus' name. You work, you work in Jesus' name. I'm not going to let that, I refuse to let that. What do you do? You take dominion over your body. You don't let your body tell you what you do or how you feel. You tell your body. Amen? And sometimes, you know, you just got to smack that thing. Right? Listen, and, and tell this thing, no, you, body, you shut up. You say, well, is your body talking to you? Yeah, that fig tree talked to Jesus. Yes. And it says Jesus answered, right? And his disciples heard him. And he said, no man eat fruit of you hereafter forever. Now think about that. Your body talks to you. You need to talk back to it. Yes. Not baby it. Oh, you poor hell. Oh, I know, you, you know, you're just this. And, you're, I know, and I know your mama had it and your granddaddy had it. And I, it's just so... Don't baby that thing. 
Amen? Because what you put up with, listen, what you tolerate will dominate. Uh -huh. yes, so you can't tolerate that stuff. You've got to be able to stand up and go, no, this is the way it'll be. Well, you know, sometimes when you get older, no, 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 no. Listen, I am renewed day by day. Amen. Right? And what's in here, there's enough life in here to keep this thing going as long as I need it. Amen? Amen. As long as I need it, it'll keep on going. And now, I, I got to admit, there's times I'm like Paul. I'm kind of like, I don't know, that other side looking pretty good, you know. But as long as the church needs me, here I am. Amen? Amen. I mean, I'm just now getting to middle age. I'm, I'll be 64 next week. Right? According to the Bible, that's middle age. Amen? Just saying. Okay. So, 